Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my November favorites. I'm calling it my November favorites, but this has been like my favorites for the last couple months because I haven't done favorites videos. So I'm going to share with you guys everything that I've tried, everything that I've loved, and that has really stood out to me. So I hope you guys are excited. Definitely give this video a thumbs up if you're into the favorites videos still because I feel like I don't see them very often, but they're my favorite videos to watch and to film because I love a roundup of everyone's favorites and just hearing a little bit about each thing. Let me know if you guys still enjoy these and if you guys are interested, definitely keep watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave and also that post notification bell that way you're notified every time I upload because this is holiday time and we're pumping out videos to get you ready I have a gift guide coming I'm still kind of getting things together but I do have a gift guide coming for you guys let's go ahead and hop into this video let's talk about the first thing that has just stolen my heart to be honest with you I absolutely love this palette and I'm really not surprised I'm really, really not. So it is the Tati Beauty Palette. This is her volume one palette. I have it on today. I, if I'm wearing eyeshadow, it's this. I have been wearing this nonstop. Today I decided to do an all matte look. I didn't even do like a brow highlight or anything like that. I probably should have at least thrown a matte one in there now that I think about it. I have been using this so much. I just love all the colors in this. I love the idea of the palette. And you guys know that I use these colors all the time. They are my favorite and I'm obsessed with them. So um, these glitters are amazing. Apply them with your finger. They'll look absolutely beautiful. The matte black is my favorite to create a winged eyeliner with. I haven't been able to dip into like the darker glitters just yet, but I cannot wait. I love this palette though. I, I use it all the time, even if it's just for one or two shades. It is beautiful. I highly recommend it. I know she has a pre-order out right now for it. So definitely snag it up. It is super slim and pretty. I love stuff that has writing right here so I know what the palette is when I'm storing it. I don't store this really because I keep it out all the time. But I do love her mirror as well. It is beautiful. Get this palette if you love neutrals, if you're just getting into makeup, if you're wanting to have an all-in-one palette, that is the way to go. It is my favorite. Next up is this powder that has been bomb. It is one of those powders I just always go back to. Now, the Too Faced Peach Perfect powder is like my ultimate favorite it is the like face tune in a jar this is pretty much that but a little bit more affordable so it is the wet and wild photo focus translucent powder guys this is phenomenal it's a loose setting powder this is great to just go ahead and set your entire makeup with it doesn't really alter the color of your foundation I think mine does have a little bit yeah mine has a little bit of a tint to it but it's nothing crazy this is a huge component has a lot of product it's gonna last you a really long time I think I bought this because it had bad reviews on Ulta I'm pretty sure but this is not bad so I don't know what they're talking about. I really love that product. It's cruelty free, wet and wild. One of my favorite brands. You honestly cannot go wrong. Okay, let's talk about foundations. So you guys know I've done quite a few videos on this Makeup Forever Powder Foundation. It is still my favorite. If you're a new mom or if you just need a quick and easy makeup look, if you're a student, this is the perfect item to literally take with you everywhere and get your makeup done in no time. I know when I was in school, I would try to do my makeup in the bathroom all the time and this would have been the best because I could do it literally in my car. You don't have to worry about tools, anything like that because it does come with a sponge. It's not like you have to wet it or whatever. Absolutely love this product. But also, a few other ones that I have been really loving, you guys know I have raved about this foundation so much and it's still one that I go back to all the time. It is the Revolution Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Foundation. I do not use the hydrating one, I use the original one. Great for oily skin, it's nice and matte and it makes your pores look gone. I love this product still. F12 is my darker shade and then I use F8 as well. Sometimes I'll mix them depending on my self tan. But like right now, I would use F12 and be fine. So love that. It does have an applicator too. So if you are on the go as well and you have a sponge, but you want a liquid foundation, this one is awesome. So I did a full video on this product and I'm still obsessed with it because it is absolutely amazing. It is the Becca Ultimate Coverage 24 Hour Foundation. I don't know how I hadn't tried this before that video, but it is so beautiful. I always get compliments um, when I wear this foundation. It's not matte. I would guess it's kind of a satin. I don't know. You can go watch that video. I'll link it down below or in the eye so you can check it out. But it looks so good on my skin and it wears really well. And if I want a really good comb, like something really bomb. I'll mix this with the Charlotte Tilbury foundation, which I think I have. So I'll mix these two together as well if I'm feeling kind of froggy, the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush foundation. And it is so pretty. You get like the best of both worlds. They're both super full coverage anyways, but the formulas together are just 
a match made in heaven. But speaking of, I do like this Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Foundation. It is very matte, but I like it more mixed with this Becca foundation, to be honest with you. So if you can, I'll get a sample, do a little mix in, you know, just to mix it up. Let me tell you real quick, while we're on the topic of foundations, I'm not quite done yet, but the one that I do not like is a Smashbox Full Coverage Foundation. Oh my gosh. I thought I was going to love it. I was so excited about it. But my pores, girl, with that foundation, mm-mm. Absolutely not. This area, when I wear that foundation, looks just a disaster. So if you're curious, I didn't love that foundation. Last one I wanna talk about that I just kinda of got back into and I was like, why did I quit using this? It is the Tarte Face Tape Foundation. Guys, this is so good. It is full coverage, it's smooth, it applies like a dream. This with the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Concealer is phenomenal. I've been using this a lot more recently as well and I love it I'm using the shade Vanilla. And these just look so good together. I love them. I love that this has a pump. I like glass packaging, don't get me wrong, but when you're traveling or just on the go, like I throw a lot of this stuff in my makeup bag if um, we're going somewhere. It's just not practical, you know? Like I like the plastic. Love the face tape as well. Those are just been my top foundations for the past few months that I've kind of switched on and off and gone back to. And there hasn't really been another foundation, like something that's brand new that I've been obsessed over. So let me know if you guys have had any foundations that you are just dying to try, want me to try, because I'll try it out for you. Other than that, nothing has really interests me. Those have been like my go-tos, you know? We're kind of going all over the place, so. I'm sorry, but really quickly for a hair product, this Brio Geo Don't Despair Repair Honey Moisture Deep Conditioning Mask. So you guys know I use Brio Geo all the time, and I use their original Don't Despair Repair Mask, and they came out with this one that's infused with unpasteurized honey for more moisture. Guys, this smells, oh, this smells so good. This smells so good. I did just do a video with them. It was so exciting because I've Again, use them for years. Like, I love Brio Geo. I seriously, I'm so obsessed with this product. It really does hydrate more than the deep conditioning mask. And the deep conditioning mask is pretty dang hydrating. So I alternate this one with that one. So I'll use this one one week, the other one the other, just because if I use this over and over, I find that it can be a little too heavy. So I kind of swap these out with that, and it keeps my hair nice and moisturized. It's how my hair is so shiny. I can't say enough good things about the Brio Geo Don't Despair Repair line. It is my favorite favorite. I love it. It's the best. So I'm going to do a gift guide anyways, and you're going to see this in there. Jo Malone. So I have two favorite diffusers. This one is one of my favorites, but the other one, the other one is so good. This is in Red Roses. Um, these last a really long time. You can see I'm almost down. This has lasted me quite a few months in this room. I love the Red Roses, but I also love the peony scent. Ooh, you want to give someone a bougie, nice gift that smells delicious? This is the way to go. I'll link my two favorite ones down below because they are amazing, but they really do last months and they smell up the entire room. For me, it is so hard to find diffusers to smell up the room. Like, I don't know. I can get some at TJ Maxx. I love the Nest ones too, but the Joe Malone ones still smell up more than the Nest ones. Let's talk about my absolute favorite brush cleaner. Listen, I tried it that one video where I was like, why did you guys let me go without it? I need to know this information. <laughs> I went ahead and I bought the jumbo size. So I do have this one. I've been using it constantly. When it comes to washing my brushes, I am the worst. I am the worst. I really, really am. So it's the Cinema Secrets Makeup Brush Cleaner. 99.99% bacteria free. It's a quick drying rinse free formula. I use this little dish. I actually got this in PR, so I don't, I'm sure you can find these literally anywhere. So I use this little dish and I fill it up maybe halfway, maybe not even that much. And all you have to do is literally dip the tips of the brush into it because the product actually soaks up into the brush really quickly and really easily. You do not have to dunk your brush in there. Do not dunk your brush into the solution. And then you just kind of swirl it onto a towel or a paper towel, whatever you're filling. It's dry, it's clean, and it's good to go. I will say if you submerge your brush into this, it's going to be soaking wet. I mean, it will dry as quick as possible, but it will be pretty dang damp. It will take down the life of your brush because you don't want solution getting all the way up there into that base and like loosening all those bristles. You just don't want that. Get it if you're lazy like me. And then let's move on to the bronzer that I have been using. Again, I have been back on this. Oh, I forgot my other one. Okay, so my ultimate favorite drugstore bronzer right now is that Makeup Obsessions one that I did um, a video on. It's the palette. Got it at Target. It is the best, you guys. I use it all the time. I'm almost going to hit pan on two shades because it's my favorite. But up here, when I'm doing my makeup all the time, the Urban Decay Beached Bronze bronzer is so good. I have it on right now, and it seriously just makes you look like you got back from the beach. Like, 
it looks like you got a tan and you're so bronzed and it's just oh it's my perfect color I love it but if you're looking for a more affordable option the makeup obsessions one is key it's good I don't use two shades out of the palette but I do use the two matte shades because they're phenomenal I'll use one to bronze with one to contour with and it's amazing let's talk skincare for just a second so I tried out Tula and I absolutely love their products like they are so good but these are my absolute two top tier favorites because they are expensive the first one is the Tula advanced neck cream this is awesome because look, look I've got lines in my neck because I don't know why actually you know what probably because I sleep on my stomach doesn't JLo tell you to like sleep on your back with a bunch of pillows around you I can't get comfortable like that girl I gotta smother my face in the pillow and go to sleep I think that's why I have a lot of lines on my neck also because I exfoliate all the time but this is the Tula advanced neck cream with pro it's a probiotic skincare I've used quite a bit of it you can't really see it I'm sorry because it's so light but this is a really rich cream that I like to put on my neck and my chest just to keep me really nice and hydrated and you know I'm getting older I just turned 28 you know I gotta keep it moisturized and like actually work you know I love this product it really does just moisturize that skin and it kind of I don't know it makes all those little fine lines in my neck and stuff kind of disappear and I really like that so I want to read to you the back real quick it says this youth activating neck cream delivers intense hydration to the delicate neck and decollete area fights the appearance of lines wrinkles creepy skin creepy Crepey skin and loss of firmness. I totally agree with all that. I think it's such a bomb product and honestly a little bit does go a long way with this. So just keep that in mind when you purchase it. And then another favorite that I actually featured in another video and on my Instagram because I did do a post with them is the Tula Skincare Beauty Sleep Overnight Repair Treatment. So this is a product that you just push up right here. I just use one pump. That is it for my entire face. That's almost a little too much for my entire face also. So you could probably even do half a pump. And I use this right before bed or if my skin is just feeling really dry. It is so moisturizing and so rich and creamy. And I just absolutely love it. You can put it on the night before and in the morning your skin still feels very nice and moisturized. You know how when you go in to wash your face in the morning and you can feel like your moisturizer from the night before and just I don't know how moisturized and plump your skin is this is perfect so it says our most potent treatment cream developed specifically to work with your skin's natural nightly repair process combines four different probiotic strains along with AHA's vitamin C and botanical extracts apply a thin layer to clean skin at night wake up to softer plumper more youthful radiant skin I totally agree with that I think this is awesome this is also a really big jar of this product so it's gonna last you a really long time so the other thing is this tan lux tan lux I remember this from my QVC thing when I was working with Smashbox and my highlighter palette dropped do you guys remember that oh my god that was so much fun I feel like I could totally do that whole QVC thing but anyways it's the tan lux the face illuminating self tan drops I have tried the face one of this and it turned me so red I think I had just a reaction to it I don't know what it was but my body was red. I remember when I first put it on. This is when we were at drum. Davis was like, uh, you're turning like really red. And I believe I was pregnant at this point. And I looked and I was like, oh my gosh. I was, I don't know why. I was just turning so red. It was some sort of reaction I was having. So I was always scared to try the face. So I don't like the body stuff, but this face one is really nice. I just use a mini mitt and I apply it all over. And it gives a really nice deep tan that goes really well with my dripping gold self tanner that I like to use. I will say I spilt a little bit of this so a little bit more is gone than it should be which is really annoying because I did not mean to spill it but you just need a little bit of this product and it really does give you a nice tan and then you just apply it like multiple times a week depending on how much you exfoliate I do use a washcloth to like cleanse my skin and stuff so I do lightly exfoliate pretty much almost every day like if I have makeup on or something but I have to apply this a lot more just to keep that tan going, you know? Only really if I just applied my self tanner. Like, I would apply this tonight because I have a fresh tan. And then the last thing is, if you watched my Sephora haul on my IGTV, I showed this. This is the New Face Prep and Glow Dual Sided Cloth. It cleanses, exfoliates, and hydrates, and I freaking love these. I'm going to buy more. This is so good. So they come in little packets like this. They're perfect to travel with. They really do cleanse and exfoliate really well. One thing I do like to do, though, is I'll take like my Neutrogena makeup wipes, the oil-free one, and I'll just do a quick wipe off of majority of the makeup because I use this mainly for the exfoliating side, but I do use the cleanse side as well, but 
I don't know. I just, I don't want to use more than one because they are more pricey. So I just like to take off mo most of it with my Neutrogena wipes and then I'll go in with this, get off the rest and then turn it over and exfoliate and it works really well. This exfoliates so nicely and it really does keep your skin hydrated. So I love that about this. And I love taking these with me on the go. I have these in my purse. I have them everywhere. Let's just talk about it real quick. I did just do a video on these highlighters. I'm wearing them today and I still really love them. I really, really do like them. And honestly, when I got done with that video, I wasn't obsessed with the palette, but I do really like it. So what I have enjoyed doing actually is mixing all of the shades together and applying them. I do apply all three at the same time. <laughs> when I'm feeling crazy, you know? So I take this Doomy Luminous Powder and I apply it all over my cheek. I apply it down the center of my face just to give that nice glow. I feel like I could totally get away with just using this on my cheek because it is pretty shiny. It shows up on me. And Doomy is my favorite color. I do the whole Bare Minerals thing like I showed you guys in the video where I tap um, some of the product on the brush, swirl it in the cap, and then I apply it to my face. And that works best for me. I do still use her brushes. So the one I use for this is JO2. I also use JO2 when applying this because it just is a little bit more precise. So I'll apply this all over and then I'll apply this palette. So I'll just take this brush, swirl around, and apply it to the tops of the cheekbones as well. I can go down a little bit farther with this product because it doesn't really emphasize texture. And then I will take her brush. This one is a JO3. I know this is like no one's favorite, but I love this brush. So I will use this bad boy for the loose highlighter in extra, and I literally just do it as a pop on my cheek so that is pretty much my pop right there I did do a little bit down the center of my nose but all of those combined is it necessary no but I do like using them all together to give that really all over glow and I have oily skin so it's one of those things where you know I, I was never really open to having all this shine around my face it just works with these products it I don't know it just really works well for me it's not like I look cakey throughout the day or anything but like I said if I could purchase anything it would be this the little loose highlighter and then the all over face powder but let's talk about another highlighter that is pretty dang bomb and that is the benefit cookie highlighter this is the one that I was using constantly before I tried Jacqueline's highlighters and it is still so good like this is such a good highlighter it is beautiful it is smooth it is bright it is so, so, so bright. This is definitely one of those highlighters that I can bring down onto my cheek a little bit more and it's not gonna emphasize my texture. I love this one. It's different than any other one that I have. It's more of a pink color and I'm not normally about that life, but I really, really, really love this one. So if you're wanting to try a new highlighter, don't wanna try Jaclyn's, definitely give Cookie from Benefit a go because it is pretty good. Also speaking of Benefit, Benefit Hula Caramel is essential for me. This is such a gorgeous, really warm bronzer. This one is the best for me. Um, I like it better than Hula to bronze all over. Hula is definitely more of a contour. This one is more of a bronze, and I'm obsessed with this in the shade. It's perfect. Really quickly, is this essential? Mm, probably not. It's not like necessary, but I bought it, and I really like it. So it's the Patrick Ta Monochrome Moment Velvet Blush in She's Sincere, and I really like this color. I have it on today. It just goes with a lot of different looks that I have, and it's a great everyday blush. I thought it was going to be too light, which it is a little light for me, but I make it work. I can build it up, and I like to apply this with my Sigma Duo Fiber Powder Brush. This one, it's the F15, so I'll just sweep it all over my cheeks with this, and it gives a really gorgeous flush. The compact is really heavy and beautiful. You do have a mirror in it as well, and I love it. Is it expensive? Yes. I love a lot of drugstore blushes, but I did get this in my sale haul and I really like it. Last two things are from the drugstore and then I think that's it. I think that will be everything. This I showed in a recent video. It's the Makeup Revolution. I think it was the High Arc Brow, I believe it's called. But it says Brow Gel and Ash Brown. So this is what it looks like. You can get it from Ulta. I like this better than the Dip Brow. I have come to the conclusion that I like this better than the Dip Brow Gel. It does apply just enough product to shape out your brows and add a lot of color to it. And then you can just take a pencil and fill in the areas you want to fill in. I love it. It's a thinner formula. And you can do pretty much your whole brow with this. If you have thicker brows that already have a really good shape. All you need is this and you're done. You are done and it's not thick, cakey, anything like that. So definitely give this a try if you're wanting a new brow gel or something to do your brows really quickly with. And then the last thing is what I have on my lips right now and I've been loving these. So it is the Revlon High Shine Hope Brilliance Ultra HD Vinyl Lip Polish. So this is what it looks like. These are my two favorite colors. 
This one is in Act Natural. This one's in Birthday Suit. I have Birthday Suit on my lips right now. It's just such a rich, glossy gloss. And these actually remind me of the Hourglass Unreal lip glosses. These are still really, really good. I still love these. They last a little bit longer. I think it's just the formula. It's a little bit thicker and it stays on really well. But if you want a more affordable option, these Revlon ones are awesome. And I do, like I said, have this one on. And it's just a super glossy, wet lip. And I love it. It's it's beautiful. I just paired this one with my Maybelline 110 Pure Nude Lip Liner, and we're good to go. I also did purchase high-end lip liners in my haul, and I have to say, I'm still using all my drugstore ones. So, moral of the story: get the drugstore lip liners because they're just as good and they're so much cheaper. <laughs> okay guys, that is it for my favorites video. I really hope that you enjoyed it and found something new that you wanted to try. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know down below what some of your favorites were for the past few months. What's really standing out to you? What are you asking for for Christmas? I wanna hear it in the comments. So thank you so much again for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.